Welcome to another episode of the MyBuddy Service Series. My name is Enrique. I'm the lead technician here at MyBuddy, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace your transmission. If you guys have been watching and following us in the previous episodes, you pretty much already know the, the first steps to take. Um, remove your cover, obviously disconnect your, trans your um, battery first. We don't want any accidents out there. And I've already done all that. I'm going to start taking the steps right here to show you how to remove this whole thing right here. Okay. Um, as you can see, I already took the cover off. Just have to disconnect this for the magnets on the reverse. I'm already a little bit ahead of you guys. I already loosened up the bolts in the back of the housing right here. There is eight bolts as you can uh, as you can remember. And I'm just gonna go on the on the ones in the front right here, right behind the transmission. All right, so what we want to do right now, um, all that that we did, right, it, it was just to loosen up the tension on the belt. Um, the, obviously, this is going to go up, lose the tension completely on the belt. Um, now, I'm going to take this bolt out, and then from there, I'm going to show you after that how to remove all the magnets and everything. All right, so check in the description, you guys, for the, all the tools and, and, and things that you're going to be needing. But I'm going to grab a um, half inch bolt and this is how I'm going to lock my transmission. Okay, so notice how I'm locking this up, you guys, so it doesn't spin the whole transmission. This has got 55 foot pounds. That's how it comes out of the factory. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a little bit of muscle for you guys to, to, to get it out. Um, you guys are going to find your own tricks, but just make sure this is not spinning. Um, what I'm using right now is just a big flathead screwdriver. Just put it against the cavitation plate. Now here's this thing that not everybody knows, and it's kind of it, it happened to me the first time I took one of these things. Um, when you take this bolt out and you try to pull it, it's going to it's gonna it's gonna act like there is something holding it. This transmission is sealed. There is no there is nothing going in or out. So the force that is preventing you from taking it out is just the vacuum that is the, those all those seals are doing. So what you want to do. If it's not coming out, loosen one of those things. These are your drain plugs. Put one of the drain plugs on the top. Take it all the way out. Make sure you don't drop it down in the housing. And then just drain your oil. Okay, while the oil is being drained, we want to grab in these connectors, just unplug them. There's a zip tie right here, you can cut it if you want. So this little plug right here, I know newer models, there is no, you have, I'm going to show you, I'm going to take this one out. The newer models, you will not have two connectors, you're going to have one 10-pin connector, okay? 
and it's going to be the same there's no difference you take the ones the two red wires that come from the back of here one of them is for the forward the other one is reverse so these two you're gonna take them out um the easy way to do it is just cutting it um i don't like doing that because i know i'm gonna use it later um so i just take a little tool or a little screwdriver a pick tool just take that little wedge that's in there and pull it out and then just take the pins out so once you remove that little wedge they come out you're gonna have two reds i don't know if you can see one of them is a little brighter than the other one the bright red and I think it's actually a bigger gauge. This is the reverse. This is the one that comes out to the plug right here. This is your forward, the, mag the magnet on the forward gear. And also you're gonna have two black wires, which are your grounds. Those two, there's a little uh, 3 8 nut in here. You just loosen that up, take it out, take your wires out. I just removed these two nuts right here. Those those nuts, they actually hold the whole bracket, the entire bracket. So if I take it out, it's going to make things easier for you guys to reach this nut, which is the ground. And I'm just taking these extra, extra steps just because I don't like cut wires and then splicing them and, and run the risk that they, the water can't get in and all that. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or anything, you guys know the phone number. You can talk to Keith or myself. You can also put, put it in the comments right down below. Um, I'll be happy to answer any questions you guys have. Okay, so now you can see there's four wires they're free to go okay so now we don't have any more oil inside let's go ahead and turn it sideways maybe grab a little paper towel or a rag so that just so we don't get oil all over the place and then just pull this out that's it. Let me see if we can. Okay, so we were lucky right here. This, I just pulled it out with my hand. Most of you guys know that never happens. Um, this was just a lucky thing. If you remember the past episode, I explained to you guys how to take this out. Um, just uh, this is a half inch 13 thread in here so you can just slide your your, ham your slide hammer thread it in and pull that thing out if not um, I also I also showed you guys how to kind of like homemade one of those um, really easy just a half inch bolt and a big socket and that's it all right so now we have the bolts on the back they're loose the bolts on the front they're loose now we're gonna have you guys remember this long bolt back here that controls the tension we're gonna loosen that up you guys will feel when the when the belt is losing the tension because this starts getting easy and then towards the end, you can, you can just do it by hand. And now here's a little trick that I'm gonna show you guys. It's gonna make it easy. Um, if you, you grab your belt, kind of like tighten it like this. You are gonna be able to see how the, the motion base 
just goes all the way up. So if you hold it right there and just tighten one bolt, and that is going to hold your motion base all the way up, you can see the tension is non-existent. What's gonna happen with that? What's gonna that allows us to do? Just pull this transmission. Get it out. Okay, so now we've taken the transmission out and everything that's left in here is just the armature and your magnet. This is pretty much the forward right here on this part. Um, these wires that I, we unplugged earlier, I'm gonna put this aside. It's just in case that you have to replace this magnet. The wires come out. Just be very careful. There is some sharp, very sharp edges in here. Be really careful with them. And that's it. We don't have anything in here anymore. Okay, so now I'm just going to put this transmission back together. This is a brand new transmission. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, you guys want to be careful with these wires. Just make sure there is you routing them down and then to the left. Um, so they come out just with he just right here with Now I'm gonna get in front of the camera just for a minute and we are going to pull very carefully the wires with some needle nose. Push the magnet back. Just work it. Work the wires all the way out and the magnet all the way in. This is just to make sure that the wires are free and they're not pinching anywhere. Okay, so we got we got the magnet, put the armature back on. Now, if you guys needed, in, in the case that you guys either replace your crankshaft or it's a new motor, or you, for whatever reason, you did have to clean up the crankshaft, just put a little bit of anti-seize or some grease or something, just so there is no rust or corrosion in that thing, just in case in the wild case that you have to take it out again, it's super easy. It's very simple. It's not going to get st stuck in there and it's just going to make life so much easier. Uh, we try to do that here at the factory. We actually need every single one. We put anti-seize on the crankshaft so there is no... I mean, you, you saw how easy it was for me to get it out. All right, so now we're going to put the, the sprocket with your inner gear. And now just don't remember, don't forget your belt. The belt it's a very important thing in these motors. Okay, we have the key. I'm just going to tell you guys, um, this little key right here, the crankshaft key, it will not come with your new transmission. So just be careful, be sure that you guys save the other one. This never gets damaged, so don't lose it. Keep it in. Just tap it with a rubber mallet. so on this right here I want to show you guys just make sure there is no dirt around this edge right here there's no dirt if you have some sort of a degreaser solvent you could even use a tiny bit of starting fluid brake cleaner 
something like that just make sure that it's really very clean this is the area where your seal is gonna ride so we don't want any contamination on that edge This planetary gear should just go in smooth. You kind of like work it. You saw me working it out, spinning it. Don't tap it. Don't hit it with anything. Just, just like that. Put a little Loctite on your bolt. Blue Loctite on this thing. I'm gonna show you guys the same way that I took it out. That same way you're gonna torque it. You can check the, the description. I think the torque spec for this is uh, 55 foot pounds. I'm gonna make sure it locks in place. So there is that. Now we are going to go uh, and follow the instructions on your oil. Um, one and a quarter ounces of oil. Um, your transmission should come with a little syringe and instructions how to put it on. And then after that, you just uh, want to put your plug right here. Um, make sure the other plug is tight. And something really important, guys, um, just grab some degreaser solvent make sure there is no grease anywhere um, check the previous videos for your belt tensioning instructions so pop your cover back on check all your bolts check your torques um, don't forget your wiring your wiring uh, it's gonna be pretty much just the same just connect these little things uh, like I said on the newer models you're gonna have just one plug 10 pins um, just Remember to put it all back on, connect your grounds, connect your wires, put the nuts back on, and um, and again, just go go one more time through everything, all the bolts, all the bolts that you loosened up, and um, clean it up pretty good. Don't forget your side plug. Connect your battery, test it a couple of times. You have reverse, your reverse working, your forward's working, and then you'll be good. You're good to go. Um, thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share as much as you can, as much as you want, and uh, shoot straight. We'll see you guys next time.